Hello, welcome back. For today's video, I'm going to be talking about a water brush that I ordered a few months ago. But before I go ahead and talk about this product, I'm going to say a few things about the illustration that I'm currently working on. Since I was going to be trying out the Sakura water brush, I wanted to start slightly simple and so I opted for black India ink instead of watercolors. Since black was going to be the main color in my piece, I suddenly got inspired to draw Raven from the old Teen Titans. Now this was by far the most frustrating illustration that I've ever made. There were four other attempts before I finally settled with this one and I was just not pleased with not a single one of the other four attempts that I did and it was just a pain. It was really bad. <laughs> But enough about my rambling, um, we all know that mediums like watercolors, inks, acrylics, and even oils are more studio-based mediums because of how tedious and time-consuming they sometimes are. Also, most of these mediums require lots of materials when working with them, which can sometimes be a bit of a problem when you just want to go out and take a break from your studio to work with them. Well, basically, that's where this little handy tool comes in. Um, I'm going to explain how this little thing works. Now, the water brush, or at least this one, consists of two basic parts. The first one is the brush tip, and at least the Sakura water brush is, or the brush tip, is made from synthetic nylon and that really helps with keeping a like a good shape to the tip and also makes the brush tip incredibly durable unless you're somehow painting like a caveman which I don't think it's the case <laughs> but the synthetic nylon does help with um, maintaining the shape of the brush and the second part of the water brush is the barrel which you obviously fill with water also a cool thing about this product is that when you're going to put the two parts together you need to screw them the opposite way and that is really nice because when you're going to paint that means that the two parts are not going to unscrew themselves which I think is really nice so a plus for that to be honest, I almost have no bad things to say about this product. I mean, it is a really nice brush. I do love it. And a few pros that I found were that um, at least this one cleans incredibly easy compared to my other brushes, which I think it's phenomenal because I am a very lazy person and I have lost millions of brushes because I don't clean them properly and this brush me being able to clean it in less than a few seconds it's a miracle I love it because of that and I also think that this brush is great for when artists just want to get out of the studio for a bit and they just don't want to keep it conventional by using just a pencil or a dry medium so I really do think that this brush is completely um, you like travel you can travel with it it's really nice and I do like it for that or because of that um, the only thing that I found that was slightly a con and I don't personally think it's the brushes fault um, it's that darks don't come out as dark and as opaque as they are supposed to be and that is because there is water constantly streaming down from the barrel to the tip. And like I said, I don't blame the brush for this or the people who designed it because that's the intent of this brush. The brush is supposed to 
continuously keep water streaming down from the barrel to the tip so darks not working or not coming out as opaque or as dark as they're supposed to be it's completely understandable so i do think that artists do need to take into consideration that little thing um when they are going to work with dark colors with this particular brush yeah i guess that's all i have to say about this brush i hope you all enjoyed this little review slash thoughts and found it somehow helpful as always thank you all so much for your continuous support don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos and i guess that's a wrap up see you in my next video bye